we have got boxes upon boxes of stuff to unbox in this video so I hope you're ready because I'm not. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is so exciting because we are gonna be doing a massive book haul. I think this is I think this is my biggest book haul I've ever done. We have got so many books here. We've also got so many things to unbox, so many things to unbox. I am so excited. But first, ah, oh my god. So excited. <laughs> Okay, so when I saw this email, I almost cried. I'm not gonna lie to you, I almost cried. It's to do with the sponsor for today's video. I have literally, I've manifested this sponsorship. I'm so excited. The sponsor of today's video is Book of the Month. <laughs> I have wanted to work with Book of the Month since I started my channel. I've always wanted Book of the Month so badly, but they don't ship to the UK, so I couldn't buy it myself. But they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to work with them, and it's literally my biggest like dream. I've always wanted to work with them, so I am so excited. Okay, so we've got the box. I'm gonna unbox it, and we're gonna see the legendary Book of the Month blue box, and I'm so excited. I've been waiting to open this for like a week. <gasps> So if you don't know why I'm like so excited and literally screaming, <laughs> Book of the Month is this amazing like online service for readers. So every month they have five new releases in hardcover for you to pick from. You choose one and they send it directly to you. And you can get your first Book of the Month book for $9.99, which is crazy for a new release hardcover using the code full. Five. and I also have a personalized link in the description which you can use so it works out cheaper than like buying these books when they come out from anywhere else I think it's an amazing deal and I love book of the month so much because they're always championing and like searching for new and emerging authors but also here's the thing right when you go back and you look at the books they bought out from these new and emerging authors those books ended up being some of the biggest books of the year what sorcery do they have finding these books? I wanna know. I wanna know what sorcery they have. It reminds me, <laughs> this is a niche reference, um, but if anyone knows what the Brit Awards is, there's this award for like a new and emerging artist and literally like the people who win that award go on to be massive. Like Adele won it back in the day before she was Adele. Book of the Month reminds me of that, you know, they, they discover authors who maybe like ha are kind of new and emerging, but they end up being the biggest books of the year. At the moment, it only ships in the US. If you're international, you can't yet get it, but we can all just appreciate the joy and the excitement of Book of the Month, I feel like. So let's talk about the books that have come and that I've received all five of September's books. Oh my God, the one in the box. They know me, they know which one I would pick. They know which one I would pick. Oh my God, how'd they know me? how do they know me? <laughs> well, today is going to be the best day ever. Actually, we need to just talk about this. I know this is going on for ages, but my love for Book of the Month, I got someone to send me the US version of the guest list or the Book of the Month edition because I love the guest list and Book of the Month so much. That just proves my dedication. Anyway, so this is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This is a thriller where this couple go on this... <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Remote, remote anniversary getaway. <laughs> Isolated thriller? Sign me up. It starts to go wrong, I think, and there's secrets, and it starts to tear their marriage apart. I am really excited for this. This is kind of, I think, going to be the one that I read first out of all of these. Hang on, I'm going to get all the books out of this box, and then we can talk about them all. Oh my god, I love them! Look at all of them! Look at all the book of the month things at the end! So this is The Neighbour's Secret by L. Allison. Hella. This is about the suburban book club. We all know the vibes, quaint houses, you know, picket fences, and a vandal starts attacking the area, and these like people's lives are, are kind of upended, and they're like, violence? Near us? 
That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Next we've got Beautiful Country by Chen Julie Wang. This is a memoir from like a child's perspective about a Chinese family struggling in the shadow of the American dream. So it's about kind of them moving to America and um, struggling here. And I, it sounds really, really interesting. I'm really excited to read this one. Then we've got two kind of, well, one's a contemporary, one's a romance. We've got The Sweetest Remedy by Jane Igaharo. Oh my God, these books are so gorgeous. Can we just talk about that? Jeez. <laughs> So in this one, a woman attends the funeral of her father that she never knew. She meets this new extended family and she also meets a love interest there. <laughs> it's about her kind of reconnecting with her Nigerian side and as well with herself. And then we have got The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. This is a romance and it's like fake dating between these two scientists. A lot of people have been reading this lately and it sounds really, really good. So let me know if you've read it. So that is all of the September books. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sending these to me. I am so excited to read so many of them. And I, I mean, just look at the Book of the Month things at the top. I just love them. I just love them so much. I'm so happy to own these and uh, make sure you lose the link in the description to go check Book of the Month out and use the code full fire to get your first book for only 9 99 <laughs> I think what we should do now is go through all the other unboxing kind of stuff and then we'll go into like all the other various books I've acquired. So the next box is from Electric Monkey. I'm so excited to open this one. This is a book and some goodies I believe so let's Quick it open. I've really packed this book tight. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please! Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I can't get in. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! We have got, oh my God, it's a cute mug. I love mugs. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. That is so gorgeous. And this mug says the mystic rose on it where magic runs deep, but secrets run deeper. That's probably to do with the book. Then we've got this gorgeous box that the book has come in. We were all flames lit from the same match and I'm the only one still burning. <gasps> so we've got a nice bookmark. We've got a candle. Oh my god, let me put the wick up. Oh, that smells lovely and look at like how glittery and gorgeous that is. What scent is it? Sea salt, moss covered trees and magic. Oh my god, I'm definitely, I'm gonna go burn this straight away whilst I edit this video. <laughs> So this is Dark and Shallow Lies by Ginny Myers Sane. This is a new YA thriller. It was pitched for fans of Holly Jackson, AKA the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So I was like, sign me up. Where do I need to sign? But this is about this girl who returns to this town in Louisiana where I think she grew up and her childhood friend went missing a few months earlier and she doesn't believe that that could possibly be true. And she makes this connection between her friend's disappearance and some grisly murders 13 years earlier. And it just sounds, it sounds crazy, but I'm really excited to read it. I think it's gonna be like have amazing vibes. I think the setting in like Louisiana has the potential to be really eerie and like haunting. I'm so excited with this, you guys. I told you this book was the best yet, but I say that about every book haul. <laughs> Bitch, if I want to, I will. Bitch, I want to, I will. Every book haul, I'm like, this is the best one yet. And then somehow we keep topping ourselves. What can I say? Okay, now I'm gonna top. Okay, I have got to go open the window. I'm sorry if we start to hear noises, but it is so hot in here today. I have no choice. BRB. Next. <laughs> Next, I, ha I, I actually have to prepare myself for this one. This is another... When I saw this email come in, I kind of... I screamed a bit, and I it took me a long time to get over it. If you watched my uh, Were These Authors One Hit Wonders For Me video reading authors I'd read once before and given five stars and reading from them again, you'll know I read The Project by Courtney Summers and <laughs> Courtney Summers saw it and emailed me saying you know thank you and asked if I wanted her to send me the Barnes and Noble special edition of the project and I said yes this is a story about a girl named Lucky. I really can't believe that she saw it. You know, she's one of my favorite authors and it's just a bit crazy. So I've been waiting to open this as well. And oh my God, I just can't really believe it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my God, it's amazing. Look at it. <gasps> Oh 
Oh my gosh, I gave the project five stars. Spoiler alert if you didn't know that. Um, oh my god, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, she's written a note. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I really can't believe it. Thank you so much, Courtney Summers, for sending this to me in a nice little note on the inside. I love the project. I'm so excited to have this edition. I absolutely love it. I need to redo all my shelves. I'm gonna get a new shelf. I'm gonna rearrange my entire room soon because I especially have run out of room on my thriller shelf and when I get my new shelves this is gonna be face out I am just I just can't believe it so thank you so much and yeah oh my god I'm so happy <laughs> then the last bit of unboxing everyone the last bit of unboxing before we get into like the 30 other books <laughs> that we need to talk about so this is the August where is she fairy loot box i love fairy loot as always i will leave a link down below you know i love their editions if you're a regular on my channel you know i love their items i just love fairy loot i cannot remember what the theme this month is love struck Ooh. okay oh we've got like a little tray like a little trinket tray that is so pretty it says it wasn't the end it was a better beginning aiden thomas oh is this cemetery boys because spoiler alert um cemetery boys is going to come up later in this haul <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is a quote from Cemetery Boys. That is gorgeous. That is so, so cute. Then what have we got? Oh, what is this? Oh my God, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> that is so cool. Is this to put pins on? <gasps> it is. It's inspired by These Violent Delights. Another book I would love to read, but I haven't got. But, oh my God, that is such a good thing. I'm going to put that on a side of a bookcase when I redo my whole room. We've got, oh, a new pin inspired by Caraval. That's so pretty. Caraval, another series I really want to read, but as we know, really trying to limit myself on series at the moment. <laughs> Me being a devotee to starting new book series and consumer capitalism. Anyway, so I'm in control, but I'm out of control, and I'm also, um, controlled. So, in a way, I'm everything. <laughs> oh, we have got a pencil case. I use the other pencil case I got from Fairly every day. This one says, The world is wild with untamed things. What is that a quote from? A river of royal blood. Oh, okay. Cute. And then these are the tarot cards for this month. They are inspired by Caraval as well. Fairly trying to influence me to get Caraval. I, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, there's two books this month. Oh my god, okay, so what have we got first? We've got paperback. Oh, of After Love by Tanya Byrne? I feel like that's pronounced. I? Look at the spread edges. <laughs> oh my god, I love when Fairy Loot do two books in one. All I know about this is that it's sapphic. <laughs> I have been very much interested in this, and I'm excited to own it because it's kind of a book that I had seen a lot and been interested in, but you know, like I'm trying to limit myself, which is hard, but I'm trying to limit myself. I think it's something to do with like a ghost, like the afterlife, like someone dies, but then like they still have a relationship after the afterlife. I don't know, but that is so exciting. Look at the spray. I love, pink is my favorite color. I can't deny it. Pink is my favorite color and look at the sprayed edges. Shall we all cry? Yes. And then what is the hardcover book for this month? These Hollow Vows by Lexi, Lexi Ryan. Look at the suns, look at the suns, look at the suns. <laughs> do you ever get the urge to trot like a pony? More than just like plain spread edges. I love it when they do a design. Holy shit, I can't breathe. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. What is this about? Go to Seely Court, find the queen's secret portal to enter the most dangerous place in Fairy, find my sister and rescue her from a power hungry king. Child's play. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, let me know if you've read this or if you've heard anything about it. We've got a map. I'm a hoe for a map. We all know, hoe for a map. Fucking love maps. <laughs> that is all the unboxing things we needed to do. Where should we start? Let's start with the books that publishers have sent to me. First from Tor, I received two super exciting upcoming releases. First, Along the Salt YC by A. Dobra Baker, AKA Sean and Maguire. And then, <gasps> Where the Drowned Girls Go by Sean and Maguire. This comes out in January 2022 and this comes out in October 2021. So this is the sequel to Over the Woodward Wall. This is a children's series inspired by a series mentioned in Middle Game by Sean and Maguire. I haven't read the first one yet but I'm hoping I'm gonna read them both soon. And then Where the Drowned Girls Go by Sean and Maguire is the, I don't even know what number in the Wayward Children series, seventh? 
I really don't know. <laughs> One of my favourite series ever. I absolutely love this series. I still haven't read Across the Green Grass Fields, which is the one before this, but this one is following Cora, I believe, who I really enjoyed in Come Tumbling Down. I really enjoyed Cora's character in Come Tumbling Down. So thank you so much, Tor, for both of these. Oh my god. What, what do you think? What, what, what do you think? Thank about? you. Thank you, everybody. Oh. Wait, you know, maybe Sean McGuire is one of my favourite authors in the world, and I can't believe I got this. I knew this was arriving, but this arrived arrived with it and I almost cried. Like, it was an emotional moment. <laughs> then, um, a few that I have kind of mentioned already, we have got The Spirit Engineer by AJ West. This is a kind of horror set in 1940s Belfast, 1914 Belfast, sorry, as the spiritual movement is gaining momentum. And we've got this scientist who we follow who is a skeptic, he doesn't believe in any of that stuff until he does. I don't think he's a particularly trustworthy narrator, so I'm really intrigued about that. I'm going to be reading this really soon. And then, a book I've actually just started is A Marvelous Light by Freya Musk. I started this last night on Reading Sprints with my patrons. This is about this kind of magical secret society. It reminds me of like an adult version of Amari and the Knight Brothers. You've got this like secret magical bureau. We've got seemingly this man who's been thrust into kind of the uh, governmental role for it, who didn't no magic existed and you, the person who works in that role may not be a magician themselves but they're always supposed to kind of maybe have a sibling who was a magician so they're supposed to know and he knows nothing and he needs the help of his like kind of counterpart his correspondent he's very cold and dry and reluctant to help I read that it was like kind of red white and royal blue but fantasy historical it's set I think in Edwardian England so I'm excited I'm excited I hope I'm gonna love it that was sent to me by book break and two others that were sent to me by book break were Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. This is one of my most anticipated upcoming releases. This is by the author of House in the Cerulean Sea. It's about a guy who I think dies and meets the Grim Reaper and has a chance to like relive his death. He resolves to use the time he has left to experience a lifetime in only seven days. I've heard like mixed things about it. Some people have loved it. Some people have said, you know, it's not quite as good as House in the Cerulean Sea. It's got to get a sip of water. Next we've got The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. This is a horror, I think. I've never read any Stephanie Perkins. I never even read Anna and the French Kiss, but this is like her second kind of slashery horror. In this one, these friends go on a three day hike deep into the woods. A detour off trail leads them into a waking nightmare and then into something far worse. This is really short. So I have hopes that it's gonna be just like super fast paced. It's literally just under 200 pages. So I'm hoping it's gonna be like super fast paced, really fun to read. I'm very excited for this. Have you read There's Someone in Your House by Sandy Perkins? Let me know if you have and what you thought of it. It didn't get the best reviews, but something about these books I'm really drawn to. Okay, we're getting there, frenzies. Then, oh my God, this stack of books are so good. These are the books that I have been gifted. So mostly from family, but firstly, we've got one from you. Uh, this is The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. I'm so excited. We're in spooky season. I'm going to read this in October. I'm saying it now. I promise you, I'm going to read this in October. <laughs> okay. This was sent to me by Fiona. So thank you so much, Fiona. I am so appreciative of you sending this to me. So this is about Jake Livingston, who is a medium. He can see ghosts. And I think up until now, it's been like fairly harmless. They've never really interacted with him. Then this murderous ghost, like a serial killer ghost who has now, you know, obviously died <laughs> himself. Um, I think he starts talking to Jake and kind of trying to like put ideas into his head. I'm very intrigued about this. I'm super duper excited to read it. I've heard really good things. So let me know if you have read it. And then my grandparents got me some books as like a present for finishing uni, getting a first. Um, I finished uni a while back and they got me some books for it. First, I'm so excited for this. They got me Shiver by Annie Reynolds. This is an isolated murder mystery, closed circle murder mystery. Can you please escort this lady over here out? We all know that's my favorite thing. Isolated, closed circle murder mystery. I want you all trapped. I want you trapped with each other. There's a murderer there. And that's all I really know, because that's all I need to know. I think it's like five friends who haven't seen each other in years reuniting. That's all I need to know. 
I stayed murder mystery, close circle, you've got me. You've got me. It's set like in the French Alps, I think. Oh, it just seems like twisty, turny, exciting. On the front it says, they don't know what I did and I intend to keep it that way. Oh my gosh. This one's exciting. We've got Pride and Premeditation by Terza Price. A Jane Austen murder mystery, ladies and gentlemen. A Jane Austen murder mystery. So this is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, but as a murder mystery, Miss Lizzie Bennet is an aspiring lawyer. <laughs> We've got Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy, a stern young heir training to take over the prestigious firm Pemberley and Associates. So I think they're like rival lawyers and I'm just so excited, I love the cover. Jane Austen murder mystery. I just can't get over it. It's like everything I've ever wanted. It's everything I've ever wanted. So very excited for this. I am I do need to read Pride and Prejudice. So maybe I'll read this along with Pride and Prejudice. Interesting. Interesting thought. Interesting. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking. Because also Little Women. And um, is it So Many New Beginnings or something like that from Bethany C. Morrow, which is a Little Women remix? Thinking, thinking, thoughts, thoughts. I've connected the two dots. You didn't connect shit, but I've connected them. Then we have got Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. I have read An Unwanted Guest. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yes, by Sherry Lapina. I really enjoyed that. That was like a really fun murder mystery. This is a thriller about this kind of family with three adult children and the parents are brutally murdered hours after Easter dinner. We don't know who the murderer is. I think we think it's one of the children. I think it's one of the three children, but they've all got secrets. They've all got deep, dark secrets. We can't really trust any of them. And I am just so excited for this. I am really excited to read more Sherry Lapina because I loved An Unwanted Guest. So excited to get into more of her stuff. And then we have got She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This is a Chinese inspired fantasy. It's had a lot of hype around it. I'm sure you've heard about it. It's about this girl who kind of adopts her brother's identity when he passes away and she's kind of like climb, trying to climb her way up through this like terrible world basically. I don't know, I'm super excited about it. Let me know if you've read it. I think a lot of you will have because it's been super hyped and I'm just so excited. I haven't been reading a lot of fantasy lately so that is the kind of thing that's making me really excited to read more fantasy. Then next we've got some books that I bought myself. Firstly, we have got As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson, the finale, the finale to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm sad. I'm sad that it's coming to an end, but I'm also like terrified to read this because a lot of people have said, like I've seen people tweeting, I have to lock myself in a dark room for like 10 years after reading that book. Like why? What was the reason? I'm not sure I want to know. What was the reason? What was the reason? The reason? The so in this we have Pip, who is this kind of amateur detective. And in this book, she's really beaten down and struggling emotionally after some of her past cases. And she gets a stalker. Someone starts stalking her and taunting her. And it's about her trying to solve her own case for once. It says on the back, dead girl walking. So I'm terrified. I don't want to read it, but I do. But I'm terrified. Then one I'm going to be reading in an upcoming video is Cemetery Boys by Aiden. Thomas, I don't really know much about this. It was super popular last year. I know something about uh, this guy like summoning the ghost of his cousin, is it? The ritual goes wrong and I don't, I don't really know much about it, but everyone who's read it seemed to have enjoyed it. So I'm going to be reading it soon. I don't know much about it because I've had to pick it up for a certain video. I'm not going to say anything. And then quickly to that you would have seen in my most recent video, so I won't talk about them too much. Um, my most recent vlog where Riley Marie picked what I read. I read some of her favourite books. I read A Diary of Blood by S. S.T. Gibson and They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. These are both like perfect autumnal reads, I thought. This one is about one of Dracula's brides killing him. And this one is a thriller about a professor who murders shitty men, essentially. So check out the video if you want to see what I thought of those. And then finally, you I've technically already hauled these books, so I won't speak about them for too long. But these are all the books that I bought in my vlog where I went to the world's first bookshop town. It's this town called Hay on Y, and it's full, full, full of bookstores. So I got quite a lot of books there, but I've already hauled them all pretty much. So we'll just run through them super fast. Should we speed it up a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> We've got The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. This is a non-fiction about this serial killer at the time of the Chicago World Fair. Very excited about this. A lot of you have said great things about it since I hauled it. Then I got this gorgeous little edition of The Night Circus, which is one of my favorite books. I thought it was just such a unique cover. So I had to get that. I love The Night Circus. 
give you a kiss. I got The Let by Charlotte Bronte. I just wanted to expand my collection of cloth bound classics from Penguin. I got Sleep by C.L. Taylor. This is a isolated murder mystery thriller, I believe. Um, where they set at this like Scottish inn and they get kind of stuck in it and there's a murderer there and I'm very excited I've heard really good things about this particularly from Mara from books like whoa I got this gorgeous oh she fell and she fell hard bitch whoa she fell and she fell hard bitch I got this gorgeous edition of the Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. Don't really know anything about this. I think it's historical. I just heard really good things about it. It's like a very popular book in the UK. So when I saw this edition, I was like, yeah, go on then. Go on then, you've twisted my arm. <laughs> my dad got me The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo, which is like a book about Ravkin saints, like kind of like the mythology of Ravkin saints. So very excited to read this. Maybe when I read King of Scars, because I want to read that soon. And then I got The Dance of the Serpents by Oscar de Moriel. This is like the seventh or sixth in a Victorian murder mystery detective series. I'm hoping it's the kind of series where I don't have to have read the first ones to read this, but it may well be. So, um, who knows? Um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And then finally, I hauled the Bookshop Tours of Britain. This is bookshop tours of Britain and I'm hoping it can help me find some new bookshops like around the UK and maybe go and visit them with you guys I think that would be a really fun thing for us to do it's got like gorgeous pictures and maps of all the bookshops so very excited to own this so there we have it everyone this is an amazing book haul so many amazing books I've been sent and received I really I just can't believe it I feel so lucky and I am just so excited to read all of these books let me know which ones here are your favorites I would absolutely love to know. And make sure you go check out Book of the Month with the link down below and go get your first book for 9 dollars I love Book of the Month. I really can't believe I own their books. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so, so happy. So yeah, go check out Book of the Month. And I hope you enjoyed this book haul. If you've gotten to the end of the video, hmm. Oh, post a picture of a snake emoji for the Essex Serpent. Yeah, that's a good one. Post a picture of a snake emoji if you've gotten to the end. Let me know if you thought of any of these books. Let me know which of these books you're most excited for. I love you so much. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.